those who have a sensitivity towards the use of colourful language, we feel it prudent to advise that today's brand rant will contain unavoidable vulgarity in order to give certain viewpoints the clarity in which they deserve. Many thanks. Well, it has been some time, and I apologise for that, the world's gone to sh and um, maybe branding hasn't been that important. So I'm going to talk about branding blind spots. Now, what does that mean? Well, I have recently done a post on that, but I thought I'd like to expand it. A bugbear of mine is that companies will use the initials of their name, their first name, their middle name and their surname, and call their company by those three initials. And I do concede that if you're a startup and all you can see for thousands of miles, there's initials everywhere. So you might think, well, that's the thing to do. And in my opinion, it's not the thing to do. This blind spot we're going to discuss today is the fact that your three initials might already have its own meaning to the rest of the population, like SOS. For instance, we've even rebranded a company called SOS. Or smaller ones like EG or PS, IE. These initials already mean something. So no matter how many times you're going to correct me, saying, no, it's not Save Our Souls, it's stationary office solutions or something, I'm going to always think it's Save Our Souls. So it's, 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 it's a real up, uphill struggle. So th th this was all prompted by seeing this particular van. And this is no way of having a go at this company. Their customers love them. And that's fantastic and they do a great job. But my first initial thought, because it's a flooring company, the word tack to me sounds like tacky or sticky. Uh, and I spent a lot of years working in pubs. And the big thing with pubs is sticky and tacky flooring. And tacky also can mean um, cheap and nasty in a bit. Yeah, not very good. I then saw this logo and thought, why would you call yourself tedious? Uh, unless the, your job is so monotonous and so boring that that's the message you want to give out. And would, would only one company think of this? No, no, no many companies. Um, we used to get the NME newspaper. Um, and now NME sounds like enemy, you know, like foe. And there are little initials that, that say that our words, NRG, see that a lot. People use the word NRG, think they're really clever. Uh, I think they're the only people to have thought of that. Uh, and, and so it goes on. Even small initials, um, you know, DK, uh, sounds like decay. But it's made me think, what, what else could be out there? And I'm going to stick to the flooring industry. Let's say, um, would there be a flooring company that talks absolute rubbish. Yes. You've guessed it, bullshit flooring is out there. Don't know how well they're doing. And I'm sure Bob Smith thinks he's very clever calling his, his company after his initials. Would there be a business, a flooring business out there that tries to get the message across that they have no products at all ever? And yes, f all flooring. Uh, is out there and thriving. Does it stop there? No. I mean, I task myself with finding these things, thinking there's no way that someone with a surname beginning with W would start up a timber flooring company. Are you ahead of me? Yes. What the f Now, if you think what the f is bad, then get a load of for f sake. Yes, Frank and his flooring solutions is out there. Whether you think they're funny and a good PR stunt, maybe they are. But there are some initials out there that you know may give out a bad message, like tedium. And that's where I feel there's this, this nuanced subject. I mean, I've written about creating names in my book, chapter four, and I give a, a top 10 list and number one being the worst thing you can do and number 10 being the best thing you can do. As, as always happens, you spend five years writing a book and then you think of something else. So in at zero is using initials that give a really bad message because they sound like something that already exists. But you don't know that because you're blinded by your own initials. 
that's today's ooh, brand observation. I'm not ranting really. I've lost the will to rant at the moment. There's lots more in the world to worry about. Um, have a lovely weekend or a lovely Tuesday, uh, depending on when you're going to watch this. Bye.